Welcome to the Gamecast Informer, the daily news show that keeps you in the know on what's hot and occasionally not so hot. My name is The Voice at 106.7, otherwise known as Vox within the Gamecast circle. You know, if there was a way to weaponize salt, I'd be classified as a weapon of mass saltification. And now, for the news. Destiny 2 Live, the musical. Well, alright, maybe not a musical, but Destiny 2 has gotten a live action trailer that, get this, was shot by the same guy who directed Kong Skull Island. And the trailer's narrator, Cade Six, voiced by Captain Malcolm Reynolds, <coughs> I, I mean uh, Nathan Fillion, gives the whole trailer a light-hearted feel to contrast with the impressive sci-fi visuals that show off plenty of weaponry and super abilities. All in all, the trailer caters to both Destiny enthusiasts and newcomers, making for a pretty sweet intro to the game. I recommend you give the trailer a look-see and sample those mouth-watering visuals for yourself. Pathologic 2, trippier and weirder than ever. The first Pathologic, a Russian indie game made by Studio Ice Pick Lodge, is getting a sequel. The story to the first one is rather simple. An entire town is dropping dead and no one knows why. So, it's your job as one of the three characters to find out in 12 days, all while dealing with health, exhaustion, and your reputation. Sounds like fun, right? Well, the studio remade the first one, calling it Pathologic Classic HD, and now for the second one, the story has changed a little slightly. You are now only one person, one plague doctor attempting to figure out what this horrible plague is being caused by, all while dealing with the previous problems and, oh, the risk of getting infected yourself as well. Oh, and death and its minions are also after you. Oh, and weird mummy people. Oh, and armed plague hunters. Oh, and there's autopsies on children. Fun, right? <laughs> no word yet on an actual release date, and honestly, I don't know if I want to know. Overwatch 2, The Dunking. Okay, so I lied. There is no Overwatch 2. Yet. Hopefully. But we had such a nice 2 theme going, and I didn't want to ruin it. <sighs> oh well. In other news, Jeff Kaplan, the lead game director for Overwatch, absolutely destroyed a player who trashed on Overwatch's reporting system after getting banned during a quick play match, calling it automated and abusable. Well, as it turns out, dear old Jeff decided to take a peek in this player's account and boy oh boy, the things he laid out bare. As it turns out, said player has a whopping 2,247 complaints against them, has been silenced for a total of 9,216 hours, suspended three times, and has had the global chat silenced seven times, as well as a manual, I repeat, manual. GM suspension for, and I quote, massive griefing, making this account one of the worst and most toxic in the world. Now, while dear old Jeff has publicly humiliated this player to the point of non-existence, there is something that bothers me. Looking past the huge numbers, this guy has only been actually suspended three times and silenced seven, which in the grand scheme of things, isn't much. Will this bring to light the fact that some punishments are too light? Who knows? But what I do know is that someone needs to contact Guinness World Records and give the player a trophy made of garbage for being the most toxic player in the world. And that wraps it up for today's news. Remember to leave your opinions in the comments below, to like, share, and subscribe, and to give Gamecast a shout out in our Discord. We're also on Facebook. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Patreon. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been The Voice at 106.7. Gaming news now.